Hey guys, welcome to this week's Bitcoin analysis. Uh, it's a day late because yesterday I was fishing and I think that shows how I'm viewing the market at this time. The market to me right now, it's really not worth trading and yeah, it's better to go fishing. So let's just get into it. I'm on the weekly chart here. I'm not going to run through this too much because I've already explained what's happening on the weekly in previous videos. We had this uh, bear flag here that came down. We had another bear flag in there that's better to be viewed on the daily and we hit that target. Uh, or we came within just a few dollars really of hitting that target and following that we've had an indecision candle and right now we are printing another indecision candle although we're only a day in and it remains to be seen what happens there we jump down onto the daily and i said we could get a pullback up to around here so at the moment uh, the way that i would be viewing this is that it looks like the beginning of a, another bear flag so let me just grab the parallel channel tool and we might look to see something like this and we could view that as potentially an A, B, and then we could get a C here, followed by Bitcoin coming back down further. Or we could get a larger correction. Let me just delete that. Could look something like, like this, A, B, C, and then coming down like that. I think either of those are possible, but the approach would be the same, and that is to not participate in this market. Or if you are in the market, it could be a good opportunity to do some selling around this area. If we get there jumping down onto the lower time frames now we're on the four hour chart you can see that we have a inverse head and shoulders through here neckline like so we actually broke the neckline we had a bullish retest but it's failed to continue into a more substantial move so What's next? Let's have a look down on the lower time frames again. And I don't like the look of this at all. Uh, I would view this as some sort of distribution pattern, uh, which means we're probably going to see more downside. So I have to lean bearish at the moment and say that we're probably going to see more downside, but I don't think we're going to see any massive moves until the CPI data comes out. And that is coming out on July the 13th, 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you want to wait and see what happens there if inflation is up we're going to see bitcoin probably nuke even further that would be really really bad uh, inflation is down then we'll probably see bitcoin get a pump and if inflation is the same then i still think we're going to see bitcoin probably come down because the goal of the fed is to get inflation down obviously and if that's not working then they're probably going to have to be more aggressive which will be bad news for bitcoin that's all for this one i'll see you in the next one cheers guys